The first wave of hostages have been released as part of the truce between Israel and Hamas. They're now making their way back to their families. Israeli authorities confirmed that two dozen women and children passed through the Rafah crossing after they were turned over to the Red Cross Friday morning. However, no Americans were among them. Laura Aguirre has more on the release. The first batch of hostages, thank God, have been released from Hamas's hell dungeons, are in the hands of Israeli special forces. It's a confirmation that's had Israel and much of the world holding its breath. 24 Hamas-held hostages, 13 Israelis, 10 Thai nationals, and one Filipino citizen are now free. The group passed from southern Gaza through Egypt's Rafah crossing, escorted by the Red Cross Friday morning, on their way back to Israel and reunions with family members. They all look very tired, very scared, and I really want them to, to sleep in their beds already tonight. The U.S. worked closely on the Israel-Hamas exchange deal along with Qatar and Egypt. We expect more hostages to be released tomorrow. And more the day after, and more the day after that. This long-awaited batch of releases comes hours after an agreed-upon pause in the fighting between Israeli forces and Hamas. In return Friday, Israeli authorities agreed to release 39 Palestinian prisoners toward a total of 150 as part of the current four-day exchange deal. In total, 50 hostages held by Hamas are expected to be freed in the same time period. Definitely a fantastic first step. That still leaves 215 hostages inside the Gaza Strip, and none of us here are free until all of them are free. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.